In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using named ranges in Excel. Now, a range is basically just any selection of cells. So if I click one cell and drag it down, I have a range. So a named range is just giving that range of cells a name. Now, let me give you an example of what a, a range is going to look like. If I enter a formula, say equals average, open parentheses, and I want an average of the salary, I'm going to click and drag down for all of them. And now, what you see there, F4 colon F10 is a range. So I'm going to hit enter. Zoom in real quick. So that part of the formula is the range. Now I'm going to show you how to give them names and how to manipulate them. To give a, na a range a name, it's very simple very easy to do. All you do is I'm going to delete that, select the range that you want. So I have a column here for last name and I want to give that a name. Go up here into the left hand corner of the Excel window and it'll say name box. This window usually gives you a cell reference. So all you do is click in there, type in last underscore name and hit enter. If you don't hit enter it's not going to accept the name. So now individually individually these cells are their own reference. So B6, B7, B8. But if I select the entire range you notice in the name box it says last name because that's what I typed in. So that's how you create the, the named range. Now the benefit of having named ranges is that if you have data that's dynamic so you're going to keep adding or subtracting from it then naming that range is going to make sure all of your formulas still work whereas if you just have a static you know cell B4 to B10 reference and you add eight more cells you want it to go to B18 but that's not going to change unless it's a named reference. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that real quick. I have the salary over here and I want to get the average salary. So one way I can do that, zoom in real quick, is to go equals average open parentheses and select all of the salary. Hit enter and I get the average salary amount. But what if I add another salary? So let me type in another number here say 90,000. That doesn't change at all because the cell reference only goes to F10 not F11 and you see when I click the formula the little blue box is right here. So how do we fix that? Well we can do that with a named range. So let's go ahead and create a named range for salary. Now there are a couple things to note. I want to create a named range that goes one cell below the bottom of salary. And I want to do that so that I can insert cells later that will be included in the range. Now I've already named this range salary. So what I did is I selected everything plus one cell at the bottom. So now let me go ahead and enter the average salary up here using the named range. It goes equals average, open parentheses, and type in salary. As soon as you finish typing in the name of the range, it'll turn blue. So that's how you know you've got the correct one. Then just do close parentheses, enter. And now you have the exact same number. The only difference is it's not formatted the same way, but that's not a big deal. So another thing to note is if you want to enter a named range but you don't know what it's called as soon as you type in the function hit F3 and it's gonna bring up the paste name box so you see I have the last name here and the salary here but I want to use the salary so just click OK and it puts salary in there for you that's especially good if you're not sure which one to use enter same thing now what happens if I want to add more data here. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this cell here. 
So let's assume that you have this database with all these employees and someone sends you another spreadsheet saying the company got four more employees and here's their data. So you want to add that data. So go ahead and copy it all. And then insert copied cells. Then an insert paste box will come up and you want to click shift cells down. Click OK. And now what that did is that put everything in here. And it also added a salary. So let's see what happened. Well, the average salary down here without a named range stayed the same. But the average salary up here using the named ranges went to 67,000 flat. So that's the benefit of using it. With the named range, it now includes all of these cells plus one below it. The only thing is to make sure that when you do add data, you have to insert it and shift cells down. So that's the benefit of using the names.